Good morning, business owners. How are we doing? Good morning. Good morning. Fantastic. So, as a coach, I I like to talk about networking. It's, it's very important. So I suggest that you get here at seven thirty, so that you can mingle and talk, and then perhaps maybe eat at eight o'clock. I mean, I realize there's some of you that will that will eat earlier because you've got to eat, so that's okay. But the idea of being early is to mingle and to make those connections. Um, do you have a chamber badge? Uh, if not, talk to Mike and Cindy. Because at the coffee pot, people will take a look and, and they read it and say, well, who are you and what do you do? And the way I'm dressed right now, I will be dressed this way all day long. So when I'm in uh, other Panera Bread, Starbucks, wherever I'm meeting clients, and I walk up, I'm not just a customer, they read my badge. I also leave business cards on tables every time that I, that I leave a restaurant. Another thing, when I'm getting business cards and I'm trying to connect to you on LinkedIn, Alonable is more local. I like Alonable too. I have a free account. That's pretty good. But when I'm reading your business cards, the colors and the font make it kind of hard to really know what the name is spelled or what the email address is. So just FYI on, on, on that. Um, this, this group is your sales team. So you have to make those connections. We gotta have trust and credibility as well before you get referred. Um, and that's very important. We'll talk about we'll talk about credibility as we move through the presentation. So I want to thank Syl, because you've got Sivana Flagredo. Did I say it right? Yes. All right, she goes by Syl. Um, she's brilliant with finances. She's my strategic networking platonic partner. Drop it all right in there. So uh, you just just you don't realize what having a partner can do for you. If she's at another group, she can get me a referral. If I'm in a different group, I can get her a referral. So this is your sales team. Everybody is your sales team. Okay. So think of it from that viewpoint and and grow your sales. All right. So let me introduce myself. I'm business coach Mike Shu. Everybody got a full belly? Mm -hmm. Everybody waking up? Keep yeah. drinking coffee? Yeah. All right, everybody ready to go out and get motivated today? Make some money? Woo! Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you, can tell, you, can tell the, you can tell me the truth, right? You know, is your business going up and down? Is your partner on break after break after break? You know, do you, do you feel alone in the business? Um, to me, those type of issues are like a like a sinus infection. Um, you know, it runs downhill into a UTI, and then you just lose your complete motivation when you've got those up and down issues. <laughs> <laughs> just have to bring it into perspective for you. Okay, so as you know, I know how's it going at home. You know, your your family, your your partner, male or female. It affects your business and all of the things thereafter. And if you're in those situations, all of the business obstacles and challenges that you're coming from, that you're moving into, or that you're in now, I've experienced it. So I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give you some of my background, the evolution of my shoe, how I got here, and how I got in front of you, and really what I do because. I'm a business coach, but I'm also a management consultant. So what does all that mean? So I do, oh, I have 14 years of coaching experience. You can look at my LinkedIn profile. Everything is documented. We're talking about credibility. You can pull up the meeting and say, oh yeah, he was there, oh yeah, he did that. You can see that. You can go on the brochures that you have on the back. You can go to smallbusinessadvisortraining.info and there's a drop down menu and it says Mike Shu. That will show you my MBA. That will show you 19 other certifications. If you are the type of person that you love to read certifications, you can email me, and I'll send you uh, three links with another 60. I probably won't get any emails. That's okay. But I do have them if you want to see them. And I'm just talking about credibility. That, you know, you, you walk the walk, and, and you have the credentials. So I also have testimonials. 
So if we, if we go to smallbusinessadvisor.info, we have the training out, you can um, drop down to project testimonials. Those are manufacturers that I work with in the Panhandle. And then drop down to small business projects, and those are business owners just like you. And you can read what they say about me and what they think. Now, testimonials are kind of funny. Not everybody wants the world to know that they worked with a coach. And I get that. It's confidential. Uh, if, if, if you want to write a testimonial, you want me to write it, and then you edit it and sign it, it it's going to be public. But I, I do want to make something very clear when you work with me. And I'm sure there's people in this room that will verify it. When we meet, or very soon after, depending on my time schedule, you're going to get a non-disclosure. And I am, I'm going to keep your information confidential. The reason I do that is, is because if you see me at Panera Bread with your competitor, I'm not talking about you. The information you tell me, people, they, they share personal things because everything is connected to the business, just like the sinus infection in the UTI. And, and I'm sure there's people in this room can verify that if you ask me who I'm working with, where did I meet them, I will tell you I'm sorry, I signed a non-disclosure. Has anybody in the room been in that situation with me? Yell out if you have. Okay, so he can verify it. And the people, there are other people here, but they might not want to verify because it's confidential, and that's okay. So what do I do? And, and I, you know, if anybody has a cure for dry mouth, please let me know what it is. <laughs> it has plagued me for about five years. There is a pill, it's very expensive. I don't like putting drugs in my body, but if you have a cure for dry mouth, let me know what it is, so. Stop talking. <laughs> 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 yeah, if I take a lot of water, then you know what happens, right? We're back to running downhill and I go to the bathroom. So, what do I do? So, business mentoring. So, I have clients that I will meet for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm not eating at Wendy's. Okay, so, okay I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I will eat at Wendy's depending on your finances. But I sit down with you at a meal. I'm, I'm $75 an hour. If you Google what does a coach cost for a consultant in the state of Florida, it's 75 to 250. And of course, the larger your business is, we have people in the 5 million, 25 million, you know, the coaching fees go up. But for small business owners, because you are my passion, you are my mission, I wanna help you succeed. 75 an hour plus the meals. And we talk about anything that you wanna talk about. What, two minutes? Two minute warning. I thought I had 10 minutes. You did. You did. You did. <laughs> but I'm, I, okay, so I'm, look, I'm a lecturer. I could be up here eight hours. I, I, the, you, I'm, yeah, I knew we probably would run out of the room, but that, that, that's okay. So, so business mentoring, we talk about anything you want to talk about. And then business coaching, we meet anywhere you want to in the Treasure Coast, anywhere out of that, then it's going to be, you're going to have to pay for travel. But we are gonna, we're gonna look at the business and we're gonna do a gap analysis from A to Z and we're gonna figure out what your, what your flags are and, your, your, and we're gonna clear those. So then we're gonna move into management consulting. And so what does that mean? Well, that means that you've got a project that you wanna do or you don't know how to do it. And you want me to do it. So I'm gonna write a scope of work. I'm gonna give you a flat price. I'm gonna put milestones in it. You're gonna sign it when the project is done. You're gonna do the checklist, sign off, project's complete. And, and then we move on. We talk about alternative funding. Every small business owner needs money. So it's one of those, okay. So it's one of those situations where like 10 grand a month, maybe a little less, financials two to three years, uh, funding in, in uh, uh, 24 to four, 72 hours. Equipment financing, you wanna get a, a dump truck, you can have an LLC today, I set up LLCs. You get a dump truck today, you need the invoice, and no financials, you just happen to have an elevator speech of, of what you're gonna do with the dump truck. I also have a concierge um, program that I offer, and you know, daytime, you know, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., on call, 75 bucks. So uh, a lot of times businesses are on fire, but really from 10.01 a.m. till 6.59 a.m., 
225 an hour, you have to give me a thousand dollar retainer because I'm going to bill you. But you can call me at three o'clock in the morning because I've been up at 3 a.m. I don't know how it's going to make payroll. So I've been in that situation. And it's very scary not to have somebody to talk to. And so bring a lot of experience to the table. How much time do I have? You guys are All right. Well, when your back is up against your small business wall, you know who to call. Mike Shue, have a great day. Bless baby, be safe out there.